Wow. I'm really impressed. Okay, in the midst of a war, now we don't have a lot of time for this because the power is going to go out, but in the midst of a war, the wood that they chose to use here is uh, is is book book matched. You see that? Whoever the craftsman was, they had pride in their work to book match the wood like that. You see how it's the same pattern on both sides, and and working its way out. I'm impressed. Yeah, very nice. We found a brick. We have a we have a brick. Where can we use that? Can we use that to get through this door? Let's just go back a little further. Maybe over here. The foreman's quarters. Okay, here we go. While it's distracted. Perfect. Okay, it's down below me. Ah, do we have it? Gerald. What? Why is that here? I literally think this is down and below me to the left, but it sounds like it's right on top of me. When you leave me the only up speedrun, I initially thought you did one. No, I didn't do that. No, no, I just decided I had said that I wouldn't watch a speedrun until I'd actually gotten through the game. No, could you imagine if after all those attempts, I suddenly pulled out that speedrun? That'd be very impressive. All right, so we ran out of power. When is my speed run? Never. I like to take my time. Yes. You think I was a hacker? Oh, you got a new picture? So he was just, I see, in case you didn't know already that you could make these things. That's your clue. Was there something about this, though? Because usually every single picture is a clue for something, I I think. Like here, okay. See, they're down in the tunnels. There's the, ex, you know, the TNT box, whatever, mission switch, I guess you could call it. And he's laying the lines. It's like, there's that. Here, oh, look, see, and there's the tool to be able to pull the grace out. Look, here in the dining room, there's a grate right there that you could go through if you had the tool for that. Here, though, I guess this is nothing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, oh, that, that can't mean it. That can't be his code, right? 3333? Three, three, three. Right? That can't possibly be the code to his locker, is it? That'd be ridiculous. But then this one, I don't know what this is meaning to tell us. So the rats go away? Oh, so, okay, is that what that's about? Clues that you can burn the bodies, yeah. Wouldn't a slow-mo run call, uh, be called a walk? Well, if it was a slow-mo run, we basically do what happened that last time where it got stuck in slow motion and then try and run it like that. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna do this for the third time today, although technically for me, once was yesterday. But just to, just for the sake of causing discomfort, uh, it's Alistair's birthday. Happy birthday, Alistair. It's honestly weird I don't normally go for games like Only Up, but it was surprisingly fun. I agree, yeah, it was, it was great. I really liked it. Can't handle that today? Okay, well then I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Well then, you know what? I take it, okay, wait, should I take it back or not? I was, uh, I was saying it for last year. I, I missed last year.
Hmm. Oh, wait. Travers. Okay. Well, the power is out. We might as well just go back and get the save state, right? So we've collected quite a few things now. The only potential problem is going to be getting back over these rats. I don't have anything I can use on that. Well, let's see. We can do this. We'll save a couple rags from Molotovs. I, I just want to know what that looks like. I go leaping over the rats. What do they do? Just, like, leap after me like sharks? Okay, close this. Lock it up so we're safe. Let's, uh, let's grab a heal. Nibble your toes? Yeah, but I guess it hurts a lot. And then I bandage my leg. High up on my leg. Uh, okay, so if I was going to put fuel in there, I, well, yeah, I'd need to have fuel first. I probably can't do that ahead of time. Let's put this over, this over, this over. Uh, got the first aid. No, that's fine. So now, did I not? Oh, I haven't looked at the maintenance map. Didn't look at it. Progress saved. Now I care less. We can, we can run into the dark. Nope. Keep that out. There we go. Maintenance. Okay, right, so I need to burn them. What can we... Do we have a, do we have a flare still? I don't know if we have a flare anymore. Flare, flare, flare. No flare, I guess we'll take this then. And I have to assume that I can just light this thing on its own. It requires a lighter to use. That makes sense. I was gonna say. Okay, then. Um, and I used up my flare earlier, so I can't do that. And a grenade seems a little bit like overkill. But. But. We do. We do have a couple more codes. Uh, it's not this way. So perhaps one of those codes is to the locker that, wait, where's, uh, where are the lockers? Lockers aren't down here, are they? You have a flare for the dramatic, if that helps. Do you, Blackburn? I, yeah, maybe sometimes. I think I've, I've witnessed that. Did I just go down to the prison without thinking? I did. Good, it's down there. For now. Okay, where... Where are the lockers? I don't remember where things are. Barracks A and B. But it, it wasn't... Was, oh, is it mission storage? No. Jesus. I realized that thing was so close. Okay, where was it again? It's not mission storage. Generator room, sick room, officers, mess hall, kitchen, sick room. It's not there. Strategic operations? Was that... No... Why can't I remember where this was? Where were all the lockers? Or, no, okay, no, I think, was it mission storage? Maybe it is, yeah, that must be it. Yes, okay. So we got two more, we got Gerard and however you say that. 
Drought and Travers, 5399-8448. Three nine nine, right? We got ourselves a lighter. Perfect. Okay, cool. It means I feel like I'm doing this right. Uh, so now you say. One of these, the lighter we need casts a dim light and can be used to set fires. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Let's see, let's combine this. We'll keep one on us, put a grenade back. I like it. We'll save it too. Okay. So now that we have. Molotov, it's not necessarily the, the greatest place to use that. Or, oh, wait a minute. Can I just light the fuel that's on the floor? Maybe I can. I'll have to see if that works. Lighter. Uh, here, we let's put this four. That's beautiful. <laughs> We're fine. We barely got hurt. Probably lost, you know, a thimbleful's worth of flesh on that one. Like the echoing footsteps reminds you of Soma. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Doesn't this? Do, do, do these share any common denominator? This game and, and Soma, like, developer, publisher, anything like that? Or am I just, am I crazy? The audio is very Soma. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can't do that. I don't have a flare. Uh, so I guess we are going to be using the Molotov then. That's the way that's going to go. No, yeah, no buttholes for your hand. It's true. Same developers published. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Frictional Games AP is a Swedish independent video game developer. is best known for games Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and Soma. Okay, good. Then I'm not crazy. I, I thought that that was the case. Now, what I don't know is if I throw it here. Guess we're throwing it there. That's where we're throwing it. <laughs> okay. We'll just let that, you know, that fire die down here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any more fuel, so I can't make another Molotov. But I guess that's okay. And the pocket watch. I just haven't even used the pocket watch at all. It's not been that important to me. Maybe for no other reason than because I will switch to uh, another grenade. <sighs> yeah, no buttholes. <laughs> Sad about that. Okay, so at least now... Theoretically, we shouldn't have to worry about those rats there anymore in the hallway. We can just come and go 
No more leaping. I don't know what else is down here. I need to go grab the map, though. Right here. Oh, there's fuel, too. But you look at that. Okay, this has been added. Foreman quarters, which I went up to. I haven't died since trying to do that, right? It's weird. So you have to hold F in order to charge it. If you release at just the right time on the third pull, like right before, he'll just put it away. Okay, so not there. We... This was a... Right, this is a cabin that you can hide in. Does this no good? What about this? What is this telling us? This is telling us that there's a gas thingy in there and rats and a dog tag. I wonder if you can throw through something like this. And, oh, there's a lock on the door. Okay. So, you know what I haven't tried? Do I have the gun on me? I put the gun away. We could try and shoot the lock off. And I wonder if that also works for the buttons. Like, if I could use that down in the prisoner section. I didn't think about that before. Hey, Major. What's up? Yeah, Brandon. Try finger. So fuel. Fuel. Put this. Put this. Okay, so now we got one of those. Put that there. Gun. And I have how many bullets? Let's see, we've got we've actually got a lot of bullets here. Using a gun to press a button, the American solution? Yeah, I'd also use it to hammer in nails if they were around. Come back and the first thing I see is buttholes. What did you miss? Uh, what is the number on screen? Is it tied to my... <laughs> no, that's my heart rate. Alright, this is the way to the prison. Uh... Uh, no, this is the way to the prison. We're gonna try this first. Uh, and so as far as the buttholes go, it was a reference to Soma. Also made by this developer. So you cannot, can't open a door, you can't hit a button with a bullet, apparently. Too strong. Same devs, that explains the sound design. Well, that's what I was talking about, Alistair. I was like, I thought there was some connection between them. So. Horror games with good sound design are always better? Yeah. Uh, where did I just go? They definitely are. A horror game with poor sound design wouldn't really be a horror game, would it? Okay, this door is open. Good. look at him. Hey, Sergeant Queef, will you be re uh, reciting the Constitution when you shoot the buttons? No. I will not be doing that. <sighs> 
It's fine. It's fine. Put the gun away. It's nice that they put this cabinet here. Yo. Chill. So, like, if I turn my light on in here, would it see me? Would it see the light through the cracks? Would it just casually open up the door? I'm actually tempted to see that. Got any opinions on the woodwork inside this cabin? I was looking at it. The only thing I can say about this cabinet is uh, it just goes to show that back during that era, it was much easier to find boards of, of this width. You know, that's a pretty wide board. And that's a whole tree. They don't make them like that anymore. They don't mill them like that. Or, or if you get it like that, it's very, very expensive. But they, they got these big, wide pieces for the sides and the top and the bottom, but then went with the slats for the front. So I don't... I don't know. Plywood with a drawn on grain. It's a veneer. Uh oh. Did you get my other Molotov? Lambert's out there walking around. I wasted one bullet in that whole thing, but that's okay. I'm, o I'm okay with that. Doesn't bother me. They fucked up the redwoods like they fucked up the buffalo. The redwoods still stand. <laughs> the redwoods still exist. So do the sequoias and all that. But in general, uh... I'm trying to, like, most of the time, it's just it's just a matter of letting a tree grow that long. I think it's a big part of it. Letting, there's a lot of trees, but it's letting a tree grow long enough to be able to get that out of it, which means it's more time invested, right, in it. So it's going to be more expensive to mill it, as opposed to, like, trees that are quicker growing. It's easier to, to plant them, cut them, mill them up, you know, in a much shorter time period. So, you know. Just how it goes. I guess this was supposed to be a German or French bunker. Yeah, there weren't too many American bunkers. That I know of. I don't know how... I actually don't know how involved America got in trench warfare itself. But I guess if you want to blame us for this here, then yeah, that's fine. Oh. Oh! Oh, damn it. Didn't need no stinking bunkers. You live for my plank commentary. Well, you know, they say, like, write what you know. I guess I can commentate on what I know. It did work for a carpenter for several years. I'm really hoping there's a place to hide over here. Okay, did we come in here? Oh. oh! Oh! There's a brick! Oh, there's a bunch of bricks! Fuel. Nice. Hmm, interesting. What? Hey, hey, what? What are you doing? Okay. We have a problem. 
feel like we have a problem here. Can I grab it? Ow! Ow! The leaping lizards! Hit you with a mallet. They didn't seem too uh, put out by that, did they? Can I block them? That'd be funny if you could, like, hold up something like this and turn it. And then just block them or push them back. I can't charge up my light right now. Uh, this is World War One. Very passionate about wood? Yeah, very. Know all about hardwood? Well, I should. Yeah, shield wall. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. I have a shield wall for that. But there's nothing else in here, was there? It's just the stinky cheese. Stinky cheese and rats. Big ol' rats. I, I vaguely remember... coming this direction. Okay, more rats. Why is there a piece of paper right there? Every time I take a step, I swear it can hear me. I've crawled into this hole here. I'll just wait. Just hold my breath and wait. Maybe it'll go away. I'm just quiet enough. Oh god, let me be quiet enough. Yeah, that's a good idea. Go and hide in the hole that they come out of. <laughs> what kind of a jump was that? Well, now we can come in here, anyway. Whose is this? 14, 2167. Thing sounds very close. Let me just kind of hide here for a moment. That was an excellent jump. It was! It was a jump. Forehead? Wall, and perfect. You know how I reached that? My long thumbs. Can I hide under, I can't hide under the cot. Hey Borealis, a man popped up just as you hit that tripwire. I see this is all part of the master plan to generate revenue. Yeah. Is that it? It was just... I mean, we should go back and, and get whatever that is. There was nothing else in the foreman's quarters. Um... Yeah, sure. Let me head back. Supernaturally long thumbs. Just staring at them again, they're so, they're so scary. <laughs> Just uh, imagine, like, he's got, it's like uh, salad fingers, just with thumbs and, and extra long. Uh, so what, what was I coming back here for? I was coming back here for something. Oh, right, right, to go check out these codes. There's never been this much skin posted to KG's Discord. Well, actually, I could tell you about the time when I did have an NSFW channel. It didn't last all that long. Uh, journals. 2167. Sixty-seven. That's all you keep in your locker? Ugh. I am le disgusted. Was to share art? 
Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Let's see. Let's put, uh, we're running out of space. Let's do, am I hurt at all? I can't even tell if I'm hurt. Uh, I've got red around the, yeah, I'm a little red around the edges here. Let's do this. Ah, green. The color of relief. I'm tempted to just save these fuel cans. But now I can't put them down somewhere. All right, where do we need to go? What do we do? That that didn't unlock anything new for us. I must not have finished everything that's over in maintenance, right? That's the only... So we've gone... Come in, clerk's office on the right. We grabbed everything in there. Supply storage has nothing in it. Break room, we just got that last dog tag. We went to the foreman's quarters, and it didn't have his dog tags in there at somebody else's. That's what gave us the lighter. We've been over to the workshop. So the workshop has the tunnel through it. Maybe that's where we need to go? And I think that the storage hub... Was the storage hub blocked off? It might have been. I did save. I did. I did save. Uh, your health bar is how bloody your hand is in the menu. Oh, okay. Maybe that room of the rats. That wouldn't let you see the body. Yeah, that's probably where we need to go. And I, I'm, that was the workshop. So, and then downstairs to the changing room. There were rats in there. And that's where I tried to jump through and, and hit my head. Okay, so we still have more places we can go. Looks like maybe out there to the pillboxes. Apparently that is where we need to go. Okay. Uh, oh, my hand looks fine. Looks normal to me. Uh, so to get past the rats, how are we going to do that? I don't know where there are more bottles around. I think there are some more bottles down in the soldiers' whatever quarters. Filthy but fine. Filthy but fine. Bottles. Anywhere. A bottle would be great. Just don't know why I would look in there. No bottle in a drawer. Totally didn't see. Oh, I grabbed that picture before. It wasn't this picture then. There's nothing special about this picture. So we're just trying to see a picture of Lambert. But he used to look like before he became the monster that's patrolling these halls, because I am gar I guarantee you. He's the monster. Do I still have space in my inventory? I do. A lot of pressure to pick the right game for Game Pass routine. It is. Speaking of... Joe had requested... Superland, but Superland is actually not... a Game Pass, like, uh... Like a free Game Pass game. The other one, six inches deep. Superland, six inches deep. That one is. I'll bring that up to him. Yeah, it's a paid Game Pass game. So it's it's on Game Pass, like it's it's on their launcher, but but you'd have to buy it. You really blame a guy for turning into a monster if your name is Lambert. Um, I can still blame him, yeah.
It's six inches under, but yours works as well. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> There's a bottle. Well, all right, I guess that's gonna have to do. We have fuel combined with that. Shut the door. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, you gotta go. You gotta go. I'm getting ready to just run for it. Anything else in security? Any more bottles here? Okay, there we go. I think he's gone now. We rescued a chihuahua and called him Lambert. He was adorable. He's off to my right. We got what we needed. One bottle's fine. For now. One bottle's a start, anyway. Uh, he barked a lot, but only protects his friend, and once he knew we were not out to get him, he was gentle as a lamb, thus Lambert. I don't trust these holes anymore. Good. Save! If this were a Resident Evil game, I would be so out of tape. Uh, oh, cloth. Do I have more cloth? I do. Fantastic. Those area loading is, is so seamless. I know, it's so seamless. Yep. See, fortunately, when I said that about the the holes, I knew not to expect too much from the response from chat on that one. It's okay, though. I can only... I can just try and be mature, lead by example. You know, that's... That's all I can do. So this was, so not there. Pantry. Workshop, okay. That's where we need to go. The only problem here, however, is that once I throw this, I don't have anywhere to hide. Okay, I, I can hide under here. Come into the workshop. <laughs> 